The Seven Thunders can be found. I just so happen to actually have my, um, my holy tablets with me. Um, for those who don't know what we're talking about, in the holy tablets, um, at the back of the holy tablets, there, are, there is a page called the Seven Thunders. Um, and I'm going to just read it, right? So it says, the Seven Thunders, also referred to as the Seven Plagues. It says, the Seven Thunders have been recorded by the ancient for thousands of years. By the Hopis, the Yamasee, and the Nuwapians have logged these thunders as a sign of the coming of a new planet, Nibiru, the coming in of a new era, the sign of the end of the present world, ruled by evil, and the resurrection of the ancient mysteries of Egypt, Atlantis rising again in the heart of Georgia, in a place called Wahani. These signs are the signs of the times recorded by the ancient Nateru of ancient Egypt and passed down through time. They are called the thunders or the plagues. The first thunder, much starvation, sickness, starving children, homelessness and diseases. This already passed and continues. The second thunder, the sky becomes sick with holes in it that look like sores, lung disease spread, Breathing problems occur, green mist coming from holes, polluting water, um, growing deformities, bacteria in the water, little devils, sea animals begin to die, fishes are trying to get out of the water, water becomes death to them, physical and spiritual illness, mutations in animals. The third thunder is many new species, notations, mutations in animals. Cross-breeding in species, death of frogs, honeybees, turtles, deformed humans, multiply genetic splicing and cloning. The fourth thunder, sign of twins, Ya and Wei. One guards the South Pole and the other guards the North Pole. Havoc begins with these poles. That's referring to the North and, and the, um, the South Poles. Structures break down religion, moral and financial. The devil wins El Nino take over. The fifth thunder, which is um, four great people will perish. Floods, lightning, storms, tornadoes, landslides, hurricanes, hell in the summer, forest fires, children killing children, children killing their parents, rampant insanity and murders, an upsurge in drug addiction and demonic revivals parading themselves as righteous. Oh Nina, little girl will come. The sixth thunder, changes occur, the star people return, signs in the skies, new planets, new galaxies, meteorite storms, climatic alterations, global warming, spiritual revivals, presence of divine, disregard and respect for the present world governments, leadership and politics. Then the final one, the seventh thunder, it says, the end of the world as you know it, which is the year 2030, all right? Now, each one of these thunders, once it starts, it continues. So it's not just like it, it's just one and it's done and then it moves on to the next one. Each one continues. And so, yeah, so that's, that's the seven thunders. Um, and the master teacher has been telling us, and if you look at the information that is broken down and what's going on in the world right now, you can actually see these thunders or these seven thunders taking place. Um, so this is why it's so important that people that are awakening worldwide are actually embracing Wu Sabat because Wu Sabat is that new cycle referred to as the sun cycle, you know, that's coming in, that has come in since the year 2000. And this is partly the reason why the master teacher has been kidnapped and incarcerated because in order for the new cycle and the new way that is explained here coming in means the old ways have to perish or go. And so this is what, this is what we're in right now.